it's very interesting. So you take a still video and a good audio sample, and you can create what they're calling these talking faces, but they're very, very good and very realistic looking. So I'm going to include a sample here of one of their talking faces. And then side by side, I'm going to include myself doing the same script. Now they're talking faces. They include a bunch of them uh, in their white paper. I'm going to link to it so you can see them. Um, they were all generated by Dolly. Um, in their training, they actually trained they, their training data. They trained on YouTube video of celebrities. Um, but all the examples they include, the faces they generated are not real people. They're just faces they generated with Dolly. And like most Dolly faces, they're perfect and they're beautiful people. So um, hard for me to compete with that, but I did the best I could to read this script. But when you see the side-by-side -side comparison, you can see that the avatar, you know, just does this perfect holding still kind of reading it even when it tries to look animated and when a person like me reads something there's kind of like a lot of like maybe it's just my personal speaking style like a lot of like kind of bouncing around and facial movements and moving the eyebrows and wrinkling the forehead and whatever else it, it's still a little different right you can still tell the difference between an ai speaking and a person speaking but it's very very good um and this is uh as they always say with this, these technologies, this is the worst it's ever going to be. So, uh, and for somebody who doesn't know this is AI generated, um, you could really do a good deep fake with it. And these technologies are just going to get better and better. You ever had, maybe you're in that place right now where you want to turn your life around and you know somewhere deep in your soul. There... Have you ever had, maybe you're in that place right now where you want to turn your life around. Could be some there could be some decisions that you have, that you have to, to make. make. Like, you well, like, know, it's, like it's like things, things something was, something decided, was for you, decided for you. And instead of trying to make something that is done work, it's like the invitation is to make the decision, commit to that, and to start creating what comes next. But here's the thing. Thing. When we when say we no say to something, no we're, to saying, something, yes we're something saying yes to something else. But that involves, but that a, lot involves a lot of unknowns. And, and that, that is scary. Is scary. So um, with that, um, one, I give Microsoft credit for not launching this technology yet, uh, especially in an election year. Um, but two, um, talking about, again, the danger of deep fakes, um, it creates a lot of... Um, there's a lot of exciting possibilities for technology like this, but there's a lot of concerns uh, with technology like this as well. So um, Alibaba in China is developing a similar technology. They announced it in February. So um, other um, companies may be going ahead with the development of their technologies. The need for digital literacy here amongst um, our public just to make people aware that that these are coming and these can be incredibly easy to create and lifelike so i guess the talking faces are coming whether we are ready for them or not be sure to hit that like and subscribe button so you're notified when new videos pop up Plus, it's like really good for my ego. The subscribe button is right over that way. Maybe it's that way.